Hey guys, welcome back to African Ordnance. Uh, today, uh, we're just, uh, we've done a few changes, hammer springs and uh, a, a tune-up on the uh, regulator. Uh, so I just want to test what some of these lighter stuff will do, um, just to see kind of the speeds we're getting. Um, so we won't be any target because we're indoors, it's quite close. We're just shooting into a backstop. So uh, let's start out with the H&M 23 grains. Alright, so I'm only going to do five shots of each because I think it's going to get a bit uh, boring. Uh, Alright, next we're going to do the JSB knockouts in 25 grain. Alright, uh, next we've got the H&N uh, 30 grand. Alright guys, now we've seen what the lighter slugs uh, are capable of, what we're going to do next is we're going to go out to the range and we're not going to shoot the lighter slugs uh, on the range just because of the, the crack. We do have a lot of domesticated animals around here so we don't want to scare them off. But we will be shooting the uh, javelins and the AOO uh, 45 grain and the javelin 40 grain. I'll see you around. Alright guys, we're back on the range. So we've seen some pretty insane numbers. Uh, but the idea is now to see if can we get a decent sized grouping out of these 45 grains being that they're going quite a lot faster um, so I've got a two and a half inch size target over there I'm going to try and see if I can put uh, five rounds onto the target <laughs> but skeptical uh, because it's quite known in the industry that you know once you start going past a thousand feet per second things seem to get a little chaotic so let's just see how we go all right let's get to it Alright, so each of those shots was well over 110 foot pounds uh, with the 45 grain slug. Um, I gotta say, I'm a bit uh, skeptic now of the myth of being able to send slugs downrange at a high velocity. I think this is awesome, especially where this industry is going. 
Uh, you've gradually seen this in the better bullets coming out. Not to say that these are the best, because they're not. These are hand cast, uh, hand sized uh, slugs. Um, yeah, I think it's very, very cool. And I think as you see the power on air guns increase, you're going to see slug development uh, coming out. That's just going to be in, unbelievable. Uh, and I think eventually it's going to make it that our sport is uh, basically better equipment, uh, better slugs. And I think it's an exciting time in our industry. All right, that's time to see now. What, let's see what these Javelin uh, 40 Grainers can do. And one more. All right, so the Javelin group was pretty promising. Um, and I'll put a Ballistics uh, X uh, um, picture of it uh, to show you guys. Um, and I think, you know, I had a couple of flyers there. But I think it was more mean than the bullets. Um, but just insane speeds. Um, you know, really, that's pretty, pretty neat for 40 grain slug to be going that fast. All right, so I'm going to try and shoot some uh, coffee pods. I don't know if you guys, are, I don't think everyone's familiar with like an espresso coffee uh, machine. The little pods make nice little targets. Uh, as you can see, not very big. Uh, so let's see how this goes. Or not. Or not. Alright, there's one. Three. Well, I'm actually surprised. <laughs> I'll be honest. I didn't expect to get that type of accuracy. Uh, I missed the first one, but uh, after that, I managed to get it dialed in. I must say this the Vulcan platform is just amazing with a few small changes here I mean this rifle goes from a 50 foot pound rifle to over 110 foot pound rifle all those shots were I mean some were I think close to 114 foot pounds for 5.5 PCP that's just insane and also the consistency I mean I will I will agree that having the rifle souped up like this it uses a lot of air but we'll, we'll, we'll sort that out. We've got some products coming out that will increase uh, air volume and some other little um, items that, just to make the rifle just a little bit better. Uh, stay tuned for that. Um, and guys, uh, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for the next episode, which won't be this rifle. Uh, for now, we're going to give it a break and we're going to go on to something else exciting. And thanks for watching.